Hey guys, so as you can see, I've finished off part one of the problem sheet. Um, so now I'm going to be moving on to part two. Um, and the way I like to look at this one is actually it's more of a elongated L shape down that way. So it's going to be 50 by 20 and then its width is going to be 30 this time. Um, and we can see 30 there as well. So uh, we're going to be referring back to that. And so number two is just there. Um, and hopefully you guys are kind of doing this as well in terms of having this up at the same time as Autodesk Inventor. But uh, we're going to enlarge this now. So now all I need to do is go up to this new part there. And you can see it brings up create new file, keeping it in metric again, standard millimeters, so really important you have these, there's no point drawing these in inches because as soon as I have a look at them, I'm going to be able to tell, wow, that is humongous. Um, and also, I literally just bring up the measurement tool and I measure a couple of the measurements to check that they're okay. So it's really important that you're getting them all correct because this is an accuracy exercise. So uh, we're going to create a new page here, um, start sketch, selecting my XZ plane like I like to do and then going to line again and left clicking on that. So left clicking down here as well on that yellow square, moving to the right, typing 50 and pressing enter. Okay, so that's done that. Bottom section there, 50 long, um, and then we're gonna be doing 20 up, and then 30 across, and then 10, 20, okay? So let's get on to that. So we're going 20 up, and we're going 30 across. So remember as well, I'm just aiming this. I'm not, I'm not putting it down here and then clicking or anything. I'm kind of making sure, um, just aiming for going 90 degrees. And you can see there. So if I zoom it in a bit, make it even easier to see. As I go down, 90 degrees pops up, and it'll actually snap because it's the middle. It'll snap to there, and then across, and it'll snap to there. And those are actually left clicks. So those are left clicks that I'm doing there as well. So now, last thing I need to do for this one is go to 3D model, left click on that up in the top left hand side, extrude, um, and then I'm extruding that 30. Okay, so then I'll click it. If I click on that one, it'll give me a good view of it. Um, and for the exact view, I think that is it. Just there, yep. And so it's 50 long, 20, 30, 30. Cool. So I just double check my measurements afterwards as well. Um, and then hopefully you guys, like I suggested in the first video, have made a um, problem sheet one folder in your H drive or somewhere safe, even on a USB. But I mean, you can always lose your USB or even saving them on your Google Drive. Um, so now I'm just going to go up here to save. Um, it's going to go to my problem sheet one folder. Um, and we're going to name it part two and save that. And it's as simple as that. So now that's a really quick video um, and hopefully that's helped you guys. We'll move on to part three in a second.